Well, this seems familiar. <laughs> Chris, welcome back. Good to see you again. Six-time Olympia champion. I think I just heard for Bradley. <laughs> you had to go to a whole second hand, bro. You ran out of fingers. Chris, you just heard earlier, it just gets better and better. Ryan Terry, uh, certainly gracious in winning this victory. Is it the same for you? Is it better each and every time that you win one of these titles? Every year definitely has its own experience. But they've all been sweet in their own way. They, I would say they've gotten better, and this is the best one yet. And six years ago, in 2019, before I ever won the Olympia, I said I was going to set the standard for what the Classic Physique Division was going to become. And I had no idea what I was saying at the time. I was a young, ignorant kid just chasing after a dream. And here we are, six years later, six of these around my neck. And I hope I've done that, but I hope I've done it a different way than I meant in the moment, where it wasn't so much about my physique and what I'd done, but how I did it and who I was, who I became along the way. And thank you. Well, I'll say this, talk about setting a standard. I think you've pretty much eclipsed that with your 25 billion followers you have on social media. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I think a lot of people know what's coming tonight. And it's with a really bittersweet feeling that this is going to be my last time up on the stage. The past eight years up here have been the most amazing journey in my life. And I wouldn't change a thing. I really hope I've... I hope I've set the standard. You know, I hope I've done that in a way where people are inspired to take up their own things. And I've, I've tried to share what was truly important to me on this journey. I've talked about, you know, feeling the highs, feeling the lows, feeling it all. If you numb the bad, you numb the good. Doing the hard shit, all that stuff. But the hard shit's not about showing up in the gym, working out hard. It's the stuff that's actually hard to you. It's the stuff that you don't want to do, whether it's going up to your wife, telling her you're having a hard day and that you need a hug and you just be vulnerable enough, vulnerable enough to cry in front of her, telling your friend you love them or walking away from something that you love because you know there's, you have faith that there's something greater for you beyond the horizon. And you know, I've put myself out there and I, I've sacrificed a lot over the past few years and a lot of that's been mental peace. You know, I put a lot of pressure and expectation on myself and it's been rewarded and I'm so grateful, but I'm ready to step down from this and let someone take this spot. And I've learned the most beautiful thing that when you get handed everything you ever wanted, that sometimes it's the simplest things right in front of you, like your family, the people who love you, the small moments in between, that means so much more. And I've had the privilege. Sorry if this is long, sorry if this is long winded, you guys never have to hear me get up here. But I, I've had the privilege to do this prep with my daughter this year, which is incredible. And my wife, for over the past six years, she's been with me for every Olympia. And maybe I would have had a couple under my belt, but I wouldn't have enjoyed them the way I was meant to if I wasn't able to share them all with her. And it's truly the most important thing is being able to share these moments with the people you love. And I'm just so grateful for her. And there's so many people I need to thank that got me here. You know, a lot of people say that the longer you're on the top, the more people want to see you fall. And I have never experienced that. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's given me so much love and so much support over the years. It's been the most beautiful journey beyond anything I could ever ask for. There's a lot of people I want to thank, but I want to thank my first ever coach and brother, Ian, who got me into bodybuilding. My mentor, my big brother, taught me everything I know with my cheat code. I love you, bro. I need to also thank my new coach, Ani, over the past three years. I don't even need to say he cemented himself as the best coach in history, but what people don't know, he also has the biggest heart. He cares so much about his clients. He loves them deeply. I see his wife nodding his head right now. And he pours everything into them, and I'm so grateful to have met him and Colin family now as well. You know, I want to thank the Olympia, Jake Wood, Dan, everyone who put on this show, giving me the privilege. You see me look up at this emblem up here every now and then, and it's just incredible that I get to stand on these lights, so thank you. The NPC, the IFBB, the Mannion, Tyler, Jim, Steve, you guys are creating dreams for people, and I'm so grateful that one of those dreams is mine, and I can never thank you enough. So thank you. My family, Maddie, Calvin, my parents, Deb, all you guys who got me through here, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I'm so sorry that this is going to be my last time up here, but it won't be the last of me, you see. I hope, please, everybody, I hope you guys learned something from my journey, and it wasn't just about winning. It was the champion mentality means having no quit, feeling it all, and just enjoying the moment. Thank you, guys.
Phil. 